Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe. I will be your narrator today, Shenandoah Briscoe. We are going to be covering Exodus 19 through 20 and uh, Matthew 18, 21 through 35. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and to those who have tuned in today. In Jesus' mighty name they prayed, Amen. And they all said, Amen. Exodus 19 at Mount Sinai On the first day of the third month, after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day they came to the desert of Sinai, after they set out from Rephidim. They entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel camped there in the desert in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to the God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, and said, this is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob, and what you are to tell the people of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on wings, on eagle's wings, and brought you to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possessions. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. So Moses went back and summoned the elders of the people and set before them all the words the Lord had commanded him to speak. The people are responded together, all responded together. We will do everything the Lord has said. So Moses brought their answer back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud, so that the people will hear me speaking you with you and will always put their trust in you. Then Moses told the Lord what the people had said. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow have them wash their clothes and be ready by the third day because on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people put limits on for the people around the mountain and tell them be careful that you do not approach the mountain or touch the foot of it. Whoever touches the mountain is to be put to death. They are not they are to be stoned or shot with arrows. Not a hand is to be laid on them. No person or animal shall be permitted to live. Only when the ram's horn sounds a long blast may they approach the mountain. After Moses had gone down the mountain to the people he consecrated them, and they washed their clothes. Then he said to the people, Prepare yourselves for the third day. Abstain from sexual relations. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain, and a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp trembled. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord descended on it in fire. The smoke bellowed up from it like smoke from a furnace. And the whole mountain trembled violently as the stone, as the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder. Moses spoke and the voice of God was answered him. The Lord descended on the top of the mountain of Mount Sinai and called Moses to the top of the mountain. So Moses went up, and the Lord said to him, Go down and warn the people so that they do not force their way through to see the Lord, and many of them perish. Even the priests who approach the Lord must consecrate themselves, or the Lord will break out against them. 
Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up Mount Sinai, because you yourself warned us, put limits around the mountain, and set it apart as holy. The Lord replied, Go down and bring Aaron up with you. But the priests and the people must not force their way through to come up to the Lord, or he will break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them, the Ten Commandments, Exodus 20. And God spoke to, spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make your, for yourselves an any image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but show love to a thousand generations to those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anything guiltless or anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your sons or your daughters, nor your male or female servants, nor your animals, nor any foreign foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male or female servants, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When the people saw the thunder and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain in smoke, they trembled with fear. They stay at a distance and said to Moses, Speak to us yourself, and we will listen, but do not have God speak to us, or we will die. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, God has come to test you, so that the fear of God will be with you to keep you from sinning. The people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. Idols and adulterers, the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites this, You have seen for yourself that I have spoken to you from heaven. Do not make any gods to be alongside me. Do not make for yourselves gods of silver or gods of gold. Make an altar of earth to me and sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, your sheep and goats and your cattle. Whatever I cause my name to be honored, whenever, wherever I cause my name to be honored, I will come to you and bless you. If you make an altar of stones for me, do not build it with dressed stones, for you will defile it. If you use a tool on it and do not go up to my altar on steps or your private parts may be exposed. Exodus 19, 19 through Exodus 19 through 20. And now we'll move on to Matthew 
21 through 35, the parables of the unmerciful servant. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times, Jesus answered. I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when the servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me, I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have the mercy of your fellow servant on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how many heavenly fathers, this is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or your sister from your, from your heart. And that was Matthew eighteen twenty one through 35. That concludes the Bible with Frisco for the day. Tomorrow we will be covering Exodus 21 through 22 and Matthew 19. So, thank you, Father, for having the uh, followers that we have. And I'd like to thank you for their blessings, and I'm hoping that they are being blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen.